Okay, today is the final day, last day. Z is for zebra, not really sure what I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. I've got my black and white um, colors out here because I really wanna keep it um, kind of true to the zebra theme and I'm gonna use my Posco pens first and see what we can come up with. Um, it's definitely been an adventure. Uh, one of the things I've really learned with this um, challenge is, is that I'm very literal. Uh, in my job, I'm actually a uh, analyst, uh, product owner kind of person. I build software and I realized that, oh my goodness, I am very, um, I don't want to say anal. I am anal, but I'm very, uh, I, I am very exact. I think like a computer. <laughs> so when the challenge was, uh, you know, um, to do the thing, I'm like, okay, I did the thing, but I didn't do the thing and take it to that next level, like, you know, be an artist. So um, that was very, an interesting revelation to me. So uh, I enjoyed this. I like that I've met people and I've liked that I've um, uh, learned uh, different techniques for things. The gel summit is going to start here in a couple of days and that's going to be awesome. So the gel summit is like, like these 14 amazing instructors and they just kind of release digital content and you can do it at your own, um, pace. So I'm like, whoo, it's going to be so cool to get all these different styles in a room because these are artists that have already found their voice, right? So I don't really know what my style is. I just fast and frantic maybe is that my style is <laughs> making a mess is that my style <laughs> I think that's what it is um I'm gonna get a thinner marker ah, coffee so there's my there's my story of the the art challenge I also um just in, it's been I guess a couple of months now so also in this couple of months I have um set up an amazing studio. I have become addicted to this art form. I have set up an Etsy store. I learned how to do this, do the, the, um, the, the recording. Um, I would not have been able to do any of it without my husband, who is absolutely amazing and supportive and I love him. And I think that he's probably the only one that watches my videos. <laughs> but um, he has just done everything for me. And um, yeah, he's he's an amazing, amazing man. So done a lot of stuff over the course of this challenge. Pasco pins, Pasco pins. All right, now you have to like wait for it to dry. So I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so it's dry enough. Um, there's this stuff that I learned about during this time. It's called matte gel. Um, it's basically clear acrylic paint, which is so awesome. So like if I don't wanna put a cover on this, a color to, to pull it, I can use this clear acrylic stuff. And then I found these little oars. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know if you can see how cute these are, but they're little craft oars. <laughs> I just love them. <laughs> they're just little oars. So I'm going to um, just do a clear medium. That's not really that clear because I've got other paint colors in there and that was a really big glop. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'll just make it work, Sheila, make it work. So I'm going to pull this, and then I'm probably going to stop the camera again because freaking Posco pens. Oh, it wasn't dry enough. Oh, well. Life goes on. Life goes on. Um, Posco pens stain my gel plate, and it annoys me. I know a lot of people don't get annoyed at a dirty gel plate, but I get annoyed at a dirty gel plate because I can't. I want to let go of what I did in the past, right? I want to let go of the stuff that I did that maybe was a mess up. And it's constantly there to remind me. Like when we did K's for Kitten, oh my gosh, that was like the worst piece of art I've ever done. And that cat stayed there for like two weeks until I, I finally got the wherewithal to get together and get my baby oil out and clean it. So 
I guess I went with the white cardstock. I have a bunch of different paper over here on the side. I'm like, oh, let's just figure out what we're going to do. And I just picked the cardstock. So I guess that's where we're going with this today. Cardstock, cardstock. God, I need more coffee. Come on, little Posco pins. Wow, that's a very strong pull. Oh, look at the little nubbin that got left behind. I don't even, it's little. Oh, poor little nub. We'll go ahead and pretend that gives it character. How's that? Oh my gosh, that was really hard. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, it's, a little, it's a little booby nub. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, that could be Z for zebra, but when have I ever stopped at just one pull? Never. I'd much rather just find out on my own why things do stuff. I don't want people to tell me, like when I was using the mulberry paper yesterday, I don't want people to tell me, oh, you can't use that kind of paper because of this, this, and this. I'd rather just find out for myself and, and work it, right? Make it work. All right, let's see how this goes here. I think this might be the end of our zebra. Oh, it's definitely going to be the end of our zebra. <laughs> I, I think I like it. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah. I like it. This is a great way to end the, um, the ABC printing challenge. I love my zebra. Okay, um, you guys have a great time. Great day. End of the ABC printing challenge. I love it. Okay.